Hi guys, it is day five of the diet, and it is 7 p.m. right now. I just got off work um, recently, and then I went to Costco and bought a couple things. But um, just to let you know how the day went, I went to bed last night. Uh, so I ate that corn, but I didn't eat the Brussels sprouts. I just couldn't. I was full. And um, full probably because of what I ate in the day, you know, with the the uh, lentil soup and whatnot. So <clears throat> I did have like maybe three teaspoons of the uh, Brussels sprouts, but <clears throat> I just wrapped it up, put it in the fridge. So I'm drinking my, my date water. If you haven't tried this, you should try it. It tastes really good. <clears throat> if you can get past the skin, then um, it's really, really good. But if I get a little piece of skin from the, the dates, I just spit it out. But um, it's good to eat it with a spoon too, or drink it and have a spoon to uh, scoop out the dates kind of thing. See, I just get a little chunk. Yeah, I didn't um, get a chance to drink that at work because I would I don't have like easy access to washrooms, so <clears throat> I didn't want to pee my pants. <clears throat> so anyway, I uh, went to bed last night at ten forty-five p.m. Fell asleep, passed right out. Woke up at five twenty-two a.m. And then I don't know specific times, but I had, <clears throat> so when I left to go to work, I had I think I had like a cup of coconut water and that was it. I was kind of running a little bit late, so I just grabbed some stuff for lunch and booked it. And um, <clears throat> so at work, I had one orange, the little clementine oranges. I'll show you that if I get it, if I can remember. I'll I'll show you what they look like. Even everyone knows what those little clementine oranges look like. So I had one of those, and um, then I had a banana later on. Then I had later on after that around. It, this was like around twelve um, o'clock. Oh wait, no, back up, sorry. I had an orange. Um, then I had that one liter of um, honeydew melon juice that I didn't eat. Um, so that juice was okay. I mean, not, not okay, I'm lying to you. It wasn't that good. Like, there was no flavor. Like, there, it wasn't like it was like, you know, off or anything like that. It was just that it didn't have any flavor per se. And it was two days old. I thought it was going to taste better, if that made any sense. I <laughs> Sitting in the fridge a couple days, I, I mean, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I thought it was going to get a little better. But Because I find if you juice pineapple juice, or sorry, juice a pineapple, the juice I find tends to get a little better if it sits in the fridge for a day or two. But I guess it doesn't work with honeydew melon. So I drank that anyway. One liter honeydew melon juice. And then um, <clears throat> was it next? And then about an hour later, I drank one liter of um, watermelon juice. And I did bring those two liters to work with me in uh, the mason jars. <clears throat> I just had to be careful not to break them. And then... Um, then I, uh, a couple hours after that, I had um, two more tangerine tangerines or clementines, and uh, two more uh, bananas. 
So I normally don't do this, but I don't mix the uh, sort of citrus fruit with uh, bananas. But anyway, I did and it didn't bother me. So I was okay with that. It was pretty cool. So I normally don't do that though. So up to that point, I had a cup of coconut water, three uh, clementines, three bananas, and two liters of juice. So that's what I had all day until right now, 7 p.m. Um, I'm drinking the six dates soaked in one liter of water. Okay, so I can't finish this date water with six dates. Um, I did eat three of the dates and I drank that much of the water. I'm just going to put it in the fridge and make a smoothie out of it later. I, I am really hungry though. I, I'm going to say day five, strongest cravings of the diet so far. And I find <clears throat> working and trying to be on a diet eat by far easily um, extra hard. And I find if you're not snacking, um, the cravings kick in. So I'm like eating, you know, basically two meals a day here. Like I, I eat my fruit in the morning and then that meal at night. If it, <clears throat> I'm almost thinking it's better to like have a little strawberries, little blueberries, like have the fruit spaced out like every hour or two. I find then the, the, the cravings wouldn't be as strong per se. So I'm deciding to eat this little mini um, English cucumber with just a little bit of salt. Okay, so I'm going to eat this cucumber. So here's my uh, leftover um, Brussels sprouts from last night. As you can see, I didn't eat that. But I'm going to heat, reheat this up and eat it. Okay, surprise, I'm just um, boiling up some mushrooms here. It's half portobello, half cremony. And then I got this heated up. And surprise again, I'm going to have four corn. That's going to be my meal. I am going to drain off um, some of this liquid though and then add the typical um, Bragg's savory seasoning, maple syrup and coconut oil and bl crushed black pepper. And you know how I do my corn. I have my mushrooms here. So I'm going to eat these. I'm picking away at them as I'm waiting for my corn to cook. I'm going to eat this straight out of the pot to save dishes. And then I got my corn plate prepped, which is crushed black pepper and Himalayan salt and flaxseed oil. I know that looks like an insane amount, but it's just camera tricks make it look more than it actually is. Um... And also, I never ever eat everything that you see here on that plate. It's just whatever smothers the corn and then the rest just, um, I know it seems like a waste, but, you know, it's better to have more than than not enough kind of things. I don't want to get it up and down, up and down out of the fridge and stuff. Because um, I like to sit down and eat and watch TV kind of thing. So, anyway, sometimes... I, I recycle this though, like if I'm eating corn the next day, which I've been eating corn almost every day, I'll just wrap it up with some ram wrap, put it in the fridge. But usually I don't do that, but sometimes I do. Anyway, corn is three minutes away from being cooked. Time check. It's 8.43 p.m. So I'll probably be eating about... Close, oops, probably be eating close to 9 o'clock. 
Uh, but I'm picking away at it right now.